Developing story live at six, a tense two hour standoff and brilliant after a man takes a woman and child hostage inside an apartment above a flower shop near Maine and Calumet Street, sending a school into lockdown. NBC 26's Holly Baker shows us how it all unfolded. <laughs> Stacy, police were first called to a reported hostage situation with a suspect threatening officers. So they began placing nearby homes and businesses on lockdown, something people who live here say is an uncommon sight for Brilliant. They had all of this blocked off. It started as a regular Monday for Leah Cron. A bunch of cops started swarming right down here. But that all changed when the coffee shop she was in was put on lockdown around 9:15. And then more came and more came. A strong police presence downtown. This morning we were notified by Kelly McCony dispatch of a hostage situation. But roads were blocked off and the police had their M16s at their hip. When a man took a woman and a nine year old child hostage at this apartment above a flower shop. No one got in and no one got out. That was, it was crazy. They were everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Nathan Young lives across the street. They were just saying stay inside. Uh, they were trying to get most of the places evacuated or shut down. And watched while the SWAT team took over. It's rare something like this will happen in Brilliant. At this time, the individual is in custody. People in lockdown just feet away, thankful it ended peacefully with an arrest. I have my three-year-old in there, and I was babysitting an infant. And hoping tomorrow is nothing like today. Nothing like this ever happens in Brilliant, ever. So it was pretty scary. It was intense. When the standoff had ended, most people were just relieved that no one was hurt. Keeping you connected and brilliant, Holly Baker, NBC 26.